Coming up on mobile learning in the classroom, formative assessment and feedback using exit tickets. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom and today we're talking about exit tickets, sometimes called exit slips, and exit tickets are a great way to do some formative assessment to know what kids are getting out of a lesson, not just kids, adults too. Um, it's also a way to get some feedback about your teaching and be able to respond to the way students are learning in real time because you've got it right there, you can look it over, it's short, and so you can design your next lesson based on those exit tickets. Um, the first thing that you want to do is if you haven't really thought about exit tickets and you want to learn more about them, more than the couple of sentences I gave, a few good places to find them, that information is on Edutopia and I've got this right, uh, right here and they talk about the exit slip and so you can see that there's an article that talks about how to do this with and without technology. The other place that you can do this very effectively is to look at the teacher toolkit and what the teacher toolkit has is a few examples and they actually have short movies about one minute long that talk about this and they actually do it across the grade levels so you can see how it works for a uh, younger kids or for teachers of older kids and um, across the continuum so you can get the sense of how it might work in your classroom so that's just getting the basic information now while when we want to do this it's really, really useful to use a technology tool. That is, it's perfectly fine to use an index card or a piece of paper, but that becomes um, really unruly if you're teaching multiple sections a day, or if you are a, if you have a large number of students or just you do this every day or almost every day just the quantities start being overwhelming and if it's already organized in a digital format then you basically everybody wins so what are some ways to do this one way to do this if you're working on your chrome uh, chromebook or chrome enabled device one of the things you can do is use google forms and google forms you can create whatever forms you want and I've created an exit ticket form and once you create it you can make copies of it so you don't need to recreate it every time and you can see that I include basically three questions what are two things you learned today with room for short answers what is one question you still have that's a way for me to design my next lesson and how confident you are about today's material and that'll be a Likert scale kind of an instrument and that's all I'm going to ask my students to do so I will take three minutes at the end of class give them that link and if you're working inside Google Classroom or Google Drive it's really easy to push this to all of your students and make sure that they are able to respond it collects all the responses inside your Google Drive so you have that information immediately available and is stored digitally so that's a great way to do this without needing any other apps or anything else now that works really really well but there are a few other options out there and um, the next option I want to talk about is teacher kit now teacher kit is an iPad app and it's also a Windows app so there are multiple options for that and one of the things inside teacher kit is the ability to get an exit slip at the end of class so if you are working with teacher kit or if you're interested in starting to work with it we find it extremely useful even at the higher education uh, level uh, to give quick responses and to be able to get feedback very very quickly so teacher kit is the second option uh, the next option I want to talk about is Socrative Socrative is a great way to get information uh, from students to do formative assessment throughout. You can design your own quizzes and I have talked about this in the past but what I love about this is it actually has a pre-programmed exit ticket quiz and basically all you have to do is say start an exit ticket quiz it throws those three questions at the students they respond and you can look at it even in real time in the classroom as they are responding or you can actually wait and get the responses later and what I love about Socrative right now is if you link it to your Google account you will see those results inside your Google Drive so you will see it just as if you've created a Google form and again the advantages it's already ready it's already there you just have to use it so you can launch it whenever you need and when you're done it's uh, done so this is a great way to get quick 
exit tickets without actually having to prepare anything in advance. Um, if you're working inside Pear Deck or other similar uh, apps, what you do is you have your lesson designed as they often are. And then in the last slide or the last couple of slides, you simply embed this exit ticket since these are apps that actually allow you to explore the responses of students in real time. They do exactly what Socrative does. It's just embedded already in that presentation. So if you are using a presentation software like that, that's probably your best bet. So it really depends on the situation, the class you're teaching and how you're doing it. So today on mobile learning in the classroom, we talked about exit tickets and what apps you can use to really help you collect all that information and respond to it. And I'll see you next time on mobile learning in the classroom.